In today's episode, we will present denim designs using colors from the Blue Jeans collection. Jeans need no introduction. They've been an inseparable part of everyone's wardrobe since forever. They stormed pop culture and will probably be with us always. Let's take a look at how we smuggle them into the world of nails. Hi, I'm Connie, and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today's episode is all about blue jeans, baby. You heard that right, blue jean effects on nails. We cover the nails with gel polishes from the Blue Jeans collection, Miss Denim, Born in 80s, Billy Jeans and Blue Buddha. We'll finish the nails with a super matte top coat. And for decoration, we'll use Nail Art Gel White, commonly known as Nail Art Paste. Art Gum in Blue Chill and Piranha and Art Brillante Black Poison. To form Art Gum, we'll use Gelastic Control Liquid. To push back cuticles, our cuticle pusher, for stamping, we'll use a torn sponge for ombre and tweezers. To pick up the art gum, we'll use a mixing tool known as a spatula, and to form art gum, the number four gel brush. Use the Nail Art 007 brush to paint the details of our decoration. For background shading, we'll use the Aquarelle Sting. We build the nails into an almond shape with the Easy Shape Light Rose Gel. Prepping the nail plate for painting, we pushed back the cuticles using a cuticle pusher. First, we apply Billy Jeans onto the index fingernail. We'll apply the colors in one thin layer very carefully and already at this stage driving the polish right up to the cuticles. Why only one thin layer, you might ask? Well, because the Blue Jeans collection is so intensely pigmented that one layer is all it takes to cover the entire nail, ensuring the expected effect. We continue to do the same on each nail. Apply one thin layer, cover each nail using the next colors from the collection. Cure each separately. On the middle finger, we'll apply Born in 80s, the ring and pinky will decorate with the lightest shade, Miss Denim. On the thumb, we'll apply the darkest Blue Buddha. To achieve a real denim effect, we cover the nails with the super matte top coat. We start by applying it on the thumb. Cure the top coat for 60 seconds in the lamp. Then we apply a top coat to the remaining four nails and put the whole hand in the lamp for 60 seconds. Everyone has their fave pair of jeans. So looking at the entire hand covered with super matte, what do you think? Which colour represents the shade of your favourite jeans? We prepare a glass palette for decorations and the white nail art paste. Using a spatula, take a small amount of paste and put it on the glass. Our nail tech will show you her way to create a denim effect. You'll need a torn ombre sponge to make this decoration. In other words, we grab our sponge in both hands and pull it apart until it tears. We use the torn side, we work by grabbing the sponge with teasers and dipping it in white nail art paste. Stamp the nails, each one by one, except for the ring finger. We use the same dirty sponge the whole time, stamping each nail with it. We cure our thumb stamp separately, but place the whole hand under the lamp for 30 seconds. Using the 007 brush, we pick up some nail art paste from the palette. We do this by sticking the brush into the product from the top and pulling out a thread. Place it across the nail over the bits we just stamped. We do this at an angle of approximately 45 degrees from left to right. We do this to achieve the desired effect of torn jeans, just like the real thing with holes, the comfy casual kind we all love to wear every day. Every two thirds of the thread, we pick up a little more product and apply it in the same way. We literally just place the thread from the brush onto the nail over the stamp. Based on our nail tech's vision, now we need some vertically placed threads. So let's get to work. In the same way we brush our threads, this time vertically. Our product, the Nail Art Paste, is so gentle that we can work calmly, nail by nail. And we only need to cure it at the end once we're happy with the final effect. However, we still need to remember the thumb principle, cured separately and deep in the lamp. Cure the Nail Art Paste for 30 seconds in the lamp. We reach for the porcelain pot filled with liquid control and dip our finger in it. Using a spatula, pick up some art gum, blue chill, and place it on the finger we just dipped. Then we roll the gum between our fingers to create a thin roller-like shape. If you don't dip your finger into the product liquid control, the gum may become messy and sticky. Liquid control makes it more susceptible to forming and a lot easier to work with. We place the rolled form onto the nail without stamps and create our desired shape using gel brush number four dampened in liquid control. On the first nail, form a vertical line, one third of the nail width. We run the line all the way from the cuticle to the free edge. 
Cure it under the lamp for 30 seconds. Our next rolled form, made of art gum blue chill, we place horizontally across the nail, approximately 0.5 centimeters from the cuticles, crossing over the first one. Using the underside of our brush, we pat down the product from the top and flatten it. We form it from both sides so that the strip is even. If we notice we have too much product, we can remove any excess using a spatula. Cure our second roller for 30 seconds in the lamp. For the third time, we pick up a slightly smaller amount of Blue Chill Art Gum and form it into a smaller, shorter roller, then lay it vertically onto the nail. Then using our brush, wet in liquid control, we start shaping it. Run the brush over it gently. Do not press too hard on the gum as not to break it. Cure for 30 seconds. Why are we creating these rollers? It's beginning to look a little bit like a Christmas present or a bit like played. It was supposed to be jeans. Well, they were and they will be. Just give us a little bit of patience. We pick up another portion of Art Gum Blue Chill, this time forming a thick and short roller. Then place it horizontally onto the nail. Using a brush soaked in liquid control, we shape the roller, tapping it from the top and forming a rectangle. Cure in a lamp for 30 seconds. Using our spatula mixing tool, we pick up some little piranha, art gum and place it directly on the nail, forming a smaller rectangle. Using the underside of the brush, we tap it from the top to form the desired shape from the side. Cure it for 30 seconds in the lamp. Place some Art Brillante Black Poison onto your glass palette and using the Aquarel Sting Brush, pick up a small amount of the product and paint an outline of the sides of our rollers. When the product on the brush runs out, we tap out what's left of it with the brush, adding shading to our black lines and the nail background. Cure under the lamp for 30 seconds. Again, grab the torn sponge with tweezers, dip it in white nail art paste and stamp the background and rollers here and there. We work carefully with the sponge, avoiding our red strip. We cure the stamps for 30 seconds in the lamp. With our 007 brush, we take up some white nail art paste and paint tiny threads on each of our roller's edge. These will be our seams. We paint the seams along and across all formed convex strips. Cure for 30 seconds in the lamp. The next stage in our decoration is our indigo label. Now we can grab a magnifying glass and only with its help will we be able to reproduce the inscription on the red tag. Our stylist has the eyes of a hawk. She's going to paint it right under the camera at a distance so you can see everything clearly. We paint it on the red rectangle using our 007 brush again, soaked in white nail art paste. Next, we mix a little bit of nail art paste with a little Art Brillante Black Poison to create a thick grey mass, which we'll use to form a grey dot on the largest of our rectangles, creating a rivet. See, she's conjured up a pocket. The cherry on top is going to be the lace. Using the 007 brush and white nail art paste, paint precise, thin threads with the brush's very tip. Cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. There we go. What do you think? And voila, a dreamed up denim decoration with a pocket. Absolutely amazing and what precision. So what are your ideas for the blue jeans collection? Let us know in the comments what you've imagined so far or what decorations this episode has inspired you towards. See you next time.